Hey guys, I'm Aleximo, and you might remember a little while back I did the Once in Journeys tag where I created my own team for if I was in the Pokemon anime. Well, today I got together with one of my friends being Luap, and we recorded a battle where we used our Once in Journeys teams. So please go check out his channel, he's also going to be uploading a video on this battle, and he's battling tons of other creators, so you should definitely check out those battles as well. As for this battle, we were not able to VC, so I will be commentating over the match, so uh, I hope I'm a good commentator. So um, yeah, I'm going to start the video now, this is probably going to be a bit short, but I do hope you enjoy the battle. Alright, so you can see our teams on the screen right now, and if you want to know why we chose these Pokemon, you can go and watch our respective videos on the Wants to Journeys tag. So I send out Whirlipede and he sends out Skarmory, and this is basically when we just start to set up, I throw down some Toxic Spikes, he uses his other moves for similar purposes, and we basically just start setting up to help out our other team members. However, he ends up using Whirlwind, which brings out my Haunter, but this actually is really helpful for me. Haunter is able to do some pretty good damage to Skarmory, as you can see right here. So Luap decides to swap into his Scizor, and I am able to do some damage onto Scizor, but eventually it is able to take me out using its bullet punch. Next, I swap in my Lopunny, and Lopunny actually has a Choice Scarf. So it's going to be able to basically outspeed anything, so it outspeeds, uses a Fire Punch, and takes out the Scizor, which is when I get very scared because he sends out his Tyranitar. Because of Lopunny's Focus Sash, it can only use Fire Punch, so I need to swap out right away. So I decide to go into Brion, which was probably my worst idea, because it basically just gets destroyed. So next up, I decide to swap in Rose Rage, that has very high special attack, it has grass moves, so I think that'll be very helpful. But even though I am able to get some damage off, Tyranitar has an Ice Punch that's super effective. This Tyranitar is destroying my team, and the only reason I'm doing damage is because of Whirlipede's Toxic Spikes. So I decided to send out Law Punny. It has um, Play Rough, so I am able to do that. And Tyranitar is at a very low health, but it did take out my Low Punny, so I send out Whirlipede, and I just protect. And finally, Tyranitar is down. So next up, he decides to send out his Giraffarig, and I'm weak against Giraffarig with Whirlipede's Poison typing, so I decide the best plan would be to swap out. So I send out Altaria, and it's worth noting that I am not going to be Mega Evolving my Altaria because we decided for no Megas and no Dynamaxing for this battle. Giraffrig ends up going for a Light Screen. It takes me to pretty low health, but I do luckily have a Berry, so I'm able to recover some, and I do a lot more damage to Giraffrig. The Toxic Spikes bring it down, and then it takes me out. I am down to just Whirlipede and Giraffarig is also down on his side. So since Whirlipede isn't really a great Pokemon, I gave it a very gimmicky moveset. It has Toxic Spikes, Toxic, Endeavor, and Protect. It really can't do damage because I never expected it to do that. Its main role was always going to be to get down Toxic Spikes. So here I don't really know what to do. I'm just kind of stalling and waiting for the Toxic Poison to get to Pichu. So I am finally able to take out that Pichu with the Toxic Poison and he brings in Skarmory and it is over for me. There's really nothing I can do after this, which sucks, but I did the best I could. I probably could have done better if Brion didn't faint super early, but nonetheless, this was a really fun battle. So thanks for watching and if I do more of these Once Journeys battles, I'll definitely upload them here as well. 